Chances are, when it comes to your health and your mental health, you want to be well-informed and know your options. But how do you know where to start? How do you begin to make sense of all the possible treatments out there, or if you even need one? When we are unwell, it's often difficult to tell what's caused the problem and what can best help. Imagine that you're ill for a few days with a sore throat and muscle ache. When your condition improves, you might wonder what made you feel better. Was it the bed rest, the cold medication, the chicken soup, or simply giving your body enough time to fight off the illness? Enter the term evidence-based medicine. Not to worry, we're about to explain it in three minutes or less. Evidence-based medicine is not a cookie-cutter approach to treatment where, for example, all people with depression are automatically prescribed the same medication and sent on their way. Instead, evidence-based medicine is a careful approach that aims to strike a balance between three important components, the existing scientific evidence, the patient's values, and the expertise of the health provider. Right now, we're going to focus on the patient-doctor partnership. So, what's your role in this partnership? How can you make the most of your time with your health provider? Whether the patient is you, or a friend, or a family member, your ultimate goal is to be informed. This includes asking questions and expressing any concerns you may have. Appointments with your health provider are the best opportunity to talk about your health and clarify any issues. Yet, we've all been there. We've eagerly awaited the appointment, and when it finally arrives, we might feel stressed or rushed, and we forget to ask some of our most pressing questions or to raise certain topics we really wanted to cover. Thankfully, there's some key things that you can do to prepare for your appointment so that you can get the most from the experience. Try to arrive a little bit early so you're ready and you're able to spend as much time as possible with your health provider. Bring a list of questions or concerns you want to cover. Bring a list of all the prescription and over-the-counter medications you currently take. This also includes any vitamins or herbal supplements you may be taking. Bring something to write down key instructions or information from your health provider. This could be your phone or even old-fashioned pen and paper. Depending on your age, you may be required to bring a family member. They can assist you with writing down information or recalling certain questions you've had. You'll also have an opportunity to meet with your health provider on your own. So, just what kind of questions would be good to ask? Well, here's some to get you started. What do you think is going on with me? Do I have a diagnosis? What do I need to do to get well? What does this mean for my day-to-day -day life, for my future? What are my treatment options? What kinds of studies have been done on these treatments? What will the medicine do to my brain and body? What are the benefits and the risks of this medication? When can I expect results? How will therapy help me? What are the alternatives, and why are you recommending this one? What kind of studies have been done on this therapy? Now, you might be wondering how you're possibly going to remember all these questions when you need them. Well, we've got a tool for that. On our website, you'll find a downloadable list of these, and even more detailed questions you can use to have a conversation with your health provider. Your health provider might recommend additional ways you can improve your mental health. They may mention the big five. Vigorous exercise, restorative sleep, healthy eating, strong supportive social connections, and helping others. We want young people and their families to feel empowered when making decisions about their health and mental health care. Using the evidence-based medicine framework can help to guide you through this important process. To learn more about evidence-based medicine and how to be health information savvy, Check out our video, Evidence-Based Medicine Part 2, or go to our website at teenmentalhealth.org.